Welcome to the channel, human. A young man from a poor working class family, Jake, played by James Franco, barely makes the cut to go into the Navy after high school. Jake is a guy that does have a lot of willpower, but at the same time, he also has a quitter in him. Certain things can discourage him rather quickly, but with the right push and the right motivation, Jake can accomplish anything. He just has a, what the humans call a chip on his uh, shoulder. So he goes into the Navy, class of the plebes, as they call it. His company commander, midshipman Lieutenant Cole, played by Tyrese Gibson. Uh, Cole was in the Marines prior to joining the Academy. And uh, Tyrese plays the hell out of this character. He's the type of dude where you see him and you like, fuck, I better not make a mistake because he's going to be all up in my face. Now, there was a point in time where I thought about joining the military, but here's the thing. The first time around, I messed up on the test because I didn't study for a section of it. I was going to go back the second time, and I would have passed it, and then I would have gotten to the military, and it would have been a mistake, and I'll tell you why. When humans scream in my face, I feel like breaking their jaw, punching them in the throat, just turning them into a bloody mess. The military is not the place for me. While I can appreciate physical training, humans yelling in my face... Not so much that I can't handle it, I don't like it, and I feel like motherfuckers need to get decked out. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm gonna give this movie a 5 out of 10. Side, ain't nothing special, it's really flat. Jordana Brewster is in this film as well, you know, she played... Uh, she plays Mia Toretto in the Fast and Furious franchise, and she played Riggs' therapist in the Lethal Weapon uh, series. Yeah, that's right. There's a Lethal Weapon series. So, which I actually thought was pretty good, up until they started fucking up later on when they got rid of Riggs. Anyway, despite the fact that Tyrese is in here, James Franco, Jordana Brewster, among other familiar faces, it's not enough to save this film from just being mediocre. You follow this Jake character, and I don't really care about really any of the characters in this movie. Everything went by kind of fast. You got Jake trying to get in the Navy, and then he joins the boxing brigades, trying to prove himself there. And I just couldn't really get behind any of the characters. They were either boring, or they came across as assholes. I just really wasn't invested in anything in this movie there are some training sequences that i found to be mildly entertaining but unfortunately this movie falls flat which is a shame because it has so much talent in it thank you for being here human you be sure to like this video and share it with the humans you know and then you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the terrence family and look here i don't care if it's your father your mother, your brother, your teacher, whoever it is, never under any circumstances listen to a negative fuck that doesn't believe in you, okay? You got to believe in yourself. If you look to your right, ain't nobody there. You, you're left, in front of you, behind you. If ain't nobody rolling with you, the best thing you got is yourself. If you believe in yourself and stick to, the, to a certain path, you will be fine. You know what I'm saying? You carry yourself up. You fall, you pick yourself up. Sometimes you got support. Sometimes you don't. That's where the ultimate willpower comes into play. If you have willpower, nothing and no one can stop you from getting the shit you want. So yeah, do what you can to support this channel. Hit all the positive buttons. And until next time, Terrence out.